Often a lot of people ask, what's the best area to find squid in? And yes, you do need to find weedy bottoms, but that's just one part of the answer. You need to find where the weed actually meets the sand on the bottom, because that's where the squid are living. They're actually swimming from the weed, out to the sand to feed, then back into the weed to hide. So it's really important that you find those edges and work them with your lures. Now today we're going to be using a selection of new Ikado jigs from Rapala, which have a great new weight system where you can actually change the weight of the head as per the conditions you're fishing in. So if we're fishing in shallow water, we use a lighter weight. If we're fishing deeper, we use a heavier weight. So I'll just run through quickly how we put them on and how they work. So basically you get your weight. Now because there's not much wind today, we're going to be working these jigs with a little bit lighter weight. So we slide it on like so. We get our little clip and we put that on like that. And we'll click it on like that. Now what will happen is that jig will actually allow it to swim freely. It won't be weighted down like some other lures where the, the actual weight is attached to the lure. So that can swim along, happy as Larry, and hopefully a squid will come and nail it. Now, the squid will actually hit it on the way back down. So what we want to do is after we give it a flick, just wait there, let the line sink, pay attention to the rod tip and wait for it to load up. All right, we've got our first little squid here because he's just caught on the tentacle there. And there you go. So it really did the trick. Now you can see there's no barbs on a squid jig, so it's really important that you maintain the tension on your rod as you're winding them in. And happy days, prime kingfish candy.